Hello my gorgeous Geminis, this is Debs and this is your reading for May 2022. Gemini have just come out of a very intense vision and the vision was of a seascape and Michael took me to the top of this cliff covered in grass and rocks with an incredible view over the sea. There was a mother with a baby and a toddler and they were just enjoying walking over this beautiful cliff, breathing in the sea view. But the baby started crying and for a split second, she lost the reins of her toddler and her toddler that she was keeping hold of in her left hand, very quickly started literally toddling towards the edge of this cliff. She very quickly put the brakes on her pram, the child was still crying, and she ran after her toddler and she caught the back of his harness just in time, literally feet before he would then head down over the edge of this cliff. It was a very tense moment. She got very emotional and she sort of got down on her knees onto this grassy hillock with her toddler and she looked at him and she said, don't ever do that again, don't ever do that again. And the child was saying, but mummy, 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 I, I, want, I want to go over there. And she said, no, 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 we're gonna play somewhere safe. We're gonna play somewhere safer. And they ended up going across this cliff top down into the next beachy area where there was a children's playground. And he was very happy, he was playing there, he was enjoying himself and he was safe. So Gemini, is something or someone going to pull you back from the edge of doing something which could be dangerous? Now, it's all relative, okay, guys? So this isn't life-threatening. It could be, Gemini, that you're very attracted to somebody, you're, you're tempted to move into an affair, but you decide right at the last minute that you're not going to do it. You could tell a friend of yours, oh, I'm so attracted to so-and-so. Oh, they really want to go out for a drink. And it could be the friend of yours says, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's a bit dangerous. You could, Gemini, be attracted to a man who is married or a woman who is married. And you could feel, well, you know, what's the harm? We can be friends. We can go and spend the day together. But you know, it's just not a good idea. My readings are usually love readings, as you know. So this is somehow tied up to love. Someone is going to pull you back from the edge before you jump in because it's simply going to be dangerous. OK, <laughs> OK, guys, let's delve into this reading and see where it takes us. As always, using a selenite to help me connect through with Divine Source. The deck is the Gilded Tarot, Chiron Marchetti. All right, people. Someone's going to be pulling you back from the edge, okay? Now, it could be you. It could be you sitting on a thought, an idea for a couple of days, and I think you're going to realise it's just going to cause chaos. So let's see what this is. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Geminis, May 2022. May 2022. What have we got for my Geminis, please, Michael? Thank you. <laughs> interesting I can now see a child in a kitchen he's gone on a chair and he's reaching up to Michael's telling me a sweetie cupboard a cupboard that he knows there are sweets in he knows he shouldn't I'm hearing mummy will be cross with me mummy will be cross with me but she won't know she won't know she's not here she won't know okay there is some kind of temptation Gemini that you're going to be reining yourself in relating to and you're not going to go there you're not going to go there okay <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, okay here we go who do we have joining us in this reading please michael thank you i'm hearing archangel shamuel archangel ariel archangel uriel archangel gabriel thank you michael my two spirit guides angela and rose are coming through cedric is coming through arnold is with me <laughs> okay He's tipping his cap at me. He's got a tweed cap. He's tipping his cap at me. Whew, okay. Here we go. Here we go, people. All 
All right. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Gem, you want to come out of feeling a bit on your own, a bit discontented. Maybe you felt isolated in or out of a relationship. You could be single, you could be with someone, but you feel unhappy. Okay, you want to change that. You want to change that. Okay. Ooh, King of Cups, Gemini. Are you thinking about a water sign man or a man that you know? is interested in you but for some reason i'm hearing the words it's sort of forbidden it's sort of forbidden well it's either forbidden or not i'm hearing it's sort of forbidden okay we could be looking at a work connection <laughs> are you in love with your boss <laughs> um hmm. pisces cancer scorpio masculine energy three pentacles in the reverse you may have gone involved in a third party love triangle in the past, Gemini. I think you let it go quite quickly. It might be because there were emotions being developed. It might be because you realised that if you didn't stop it at that point, it would cause a lot of pain and heartbreak. I'm hearing for everyone, okay? Yes, you went back to a long-term situation, Gemini. Yes, or maybe potentially the Ten of Cups represents that whoever you were connected to was involved with somebody else themselves and you just thought, no, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I, I, I just shouldn't do this. Okay. In your thoughts, yeah, fall in reverse, Aries energy. You're not wanting to take that risk. But it has been on your mind. You may have recently realised that it could, I'm hearing, get you into hot water. Michael showing me a kettle boiling and somebody pouring tea. Okay, I get these strange visions. It could get you into hot water. In the immediate future, oh, we have judgment. Interesting. Sagittarius energy. You're needing to make a serious decision, Gemini. You do have a decision to make. Now, for those of you in a relationship, tempted by somebody else, the decision may be, should I have an affair? Should I leave it? For others of you, you may be quietly in love with someone and your long-term situation is on the rocks. No pun intended. And you may be wondering whether or not it's time to break free of that connection. In your fears, two of pentacles, fearing moving into a situation where someone's juggling another person. There could be distance water between the two of you. I'm seeing this king of cups sitting in water, which is emotions. Two of pentacles water, which can be emotions. But there may be physical distance between you and someone else. In the environment is the King of Swords. Be careful, I'm connecting potentially with a Gemini woman who may be making a decision to leave their other half, husband, man you've been living with for a long time. They know, Gemini, that you are tempted to either move into an affair with someone or they know that you are about to make a very serious decision about a long-term situation that you're in with them. So this is you. I'm seeing someone balancing on a high wire, trying to keep their balance. Okay. In your hopes, Gemini, the High Priestess, hoping to keep something a secret, hoping to keep something under wraps. For some of you, you may be hoping to move forward with a Pisces. Goodness me, Three of Wands is you, Gemini. I'm hearing doing things the right way, doing things the way I should do them. Three of Wands, you are leaving a situation you're turning your back on the past and you're embracing change. You are getting on that ship. You've been very worried about making this decision, Gemini, but I think you're going to do it. 
You're going to do it. Six of Swords. You want to move to calmer waters or you have been thinking of quietly leaving a situation behind. We have the Strength card. You could be thinking of a Leo. Or you moved into an affair with a Leo in the past and then you quickly disconnected. You realised that you were putting your Ten of Cups at risk or they realised that. Maybe they were in a long-term situation. Or if there was no Leo energy involved at all, the energy of the Six of Swords and the Strength card is you wanting to move to calmer waters, maybe, and holding yourself back from moving into an affair, having the courage to rein that passion in. Now we have Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. Temperance in the reverse is you no longer wanting to wait, you no longer wanting to coast. If you've been in a very unfulfilling situation, Jem, that's the major energy coming through. I think what you're planning on doing is leaving that situation and moving on. So the affair situation could be you tempted to just come out of feeling very disconnected from your partner, plaster on a deep wound type of thing, escapism. But I think you're realising that you have to take control of the main issue, which is your relationship isn't working. It's not working. And I think you are no longer willing to wait, to give it time, to be patient. I think you're just going to go. Decision made just like that. Because I think, Gemini, you have been tempted to teeter closer and closer and closer to the edge of temptation You've been pulling yourself back time and time again, and I think you're fed up with it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You are worried about breaking free and being single. It could be you're worried about money, your stability. It may be that knowing that this person was in your life in general as your other half gave you a sense of stability somehow, just emotional stability for some, and you didn't want to make that change. You just couldn't bear doing it. It could be you knew that it would cause chaos. It could be that you knew that it would have financial implications, but I think you're ready now. Okay. Under the deck, Queen of Swords. This is you, Gemini woman. Yes. Look at that. Unbelievable. Underneath that, we've got the tower. Yeah, I think you're bringing in the tower, Gemini. I think you're leaving a relationship that you've been very unhappy in. Ace of Pentacles in reverse because with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups is overindulgence. You've realised that maybe you have had a couple of affairs in the past and they've been fun while they lasted, but you actually wanted something more stable. Maybe it was someone in particular. And you couldn't move into the energy of the Ace of Pentacles because you were in a connection with another person. So I think this is you deciding, I've got to do it. I've got to break free. I've got to leave my person. Okay, you're doing it. Wow. Okay, Gem. So guys, what we have here is, I feel a feminine Gemini making a serious decision to leave their other half coming through as the King of Swords, who has been tempted to move into an affair before or had an affair before and is very unhappy. But you've been dragging your feet, Gemini, because this is not something you really wanted to face. Now, you can read these cards in any which way you will, guys, okay? So you could be the third person, this affair that happened in the past. You could be the masculine energy in this. But I feel I'm connecting with a feminine Gemini who is about to end things with their partner. OK, so people, are we ready? Let's move the cards a fraction and let's see where this goes. Let's see what's going to happen. Are you heading towards someone in particular, Gem? Who knows? We will find out as we move through the reading. So people, we're going to start with your current energy. Now, this can be any time up to the next couple of months. Be aware of that. We're starting off with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So you have felt very alone, okay? You could be married to somebody for 20 years and still feel very alone. 
This is you wanting to change that. With the King of Cups, you may have fallen in love specifically with a water sign, my Gemini girls, or you know that this is a man who is in love with you, any zodiac sign. You know that there is someone out there who is wanting to move forward with you, who loves you. But you're in a long-term situation with your King of Swords. Could be a very cold partnership. The love is gone, the passion is gone, and you're feeling unloved. And you're realising that you can't keep being tempted to just simply have affairs. Because it's not helping anyone. And I think it's causing you heartbreak more than anyone else. So Gemini, Three of Pentacles in Reverse... There was a third party that occurred, but you couldn't build on it because it may be the other person was uncomfortable that you were married. Maybe they headed off towards somebody who was single. You might have ended it because you felt guilty. But the Three of Pentacles in Reverse is you not working on that partnership. After that time, you try to patch up things with your other half. You move back into the energy of the Ten of Cups. So you could have tried anything and everything to get that emotion back, get the romance back, get the passion going again. And I think for a time it may have worked. But I think very soon afterwards, you then moved back into this energy of feeling just discontented. And I do feel there's another man here, two kings, that you're thinking about that you believe may want to move forward with you into a relationship if you detach from your King of Swords. So you've got that person in the back of your mind. If you had an affair with that person, I think it's ended. But you may still be in quiet communication simply just to keep in touch. Or there may not be any communication at all. This could represent that you're just thinking of this person. In your thoughts, the fall in reverse, you don't want to do anything foolish. You don't want to take a massive risk. So this is why you've been holding back up until this point of time. You could have Aries in your chart. You could be thinking of an Aries. Whatever this is for you, this is you, again, teetering on the edge of breaking free or teetering on the edge of doing something foolish uh, but pulling yourself back before you do because this was painful in the past you had to let something go I think an affair I think you left an affair or somebody left you because you knew that it would not lead to anything stable Archangel Michael when do we have the energy of the judgment card coming through for my Gemini's please thank you July 24th Coming through very strongly. Okay, 23rd, 24th, 26th, 28th, 30th of July, 1st and 2nd of August, 18th of August. I can see a woman walking into a kitchen and there's a man sitting at a kitchen table reading the paper. And she's looking at him and she's feeling very nervous and she's pacing around the kitchen and he looks up. And she simply says, I think we need to talk. I think we need to talk. Okay. Yeah, I think he knows because I can see him folding up the paper, putting it to one side and sitting with his hands clenched on the kitchen table, looking at her as if to say, okay, yeah. It, it's as if he knows what's coming. Okay. So within that period of time, very relevant pertaining to those of you who are in the situation, July is going to be very strong for you. It's going to be very relevant. Uh, judgment. Sorry, I'm lost in the channeling. Judgment. You're making a serious decision. You know this is going to be life-changing. You know this is a serious decision. But I think you're ready to make it. I almost feel that the divine is calling you to do this. I'm hearing before you get yourself into hot water again. OK. Whoever you're communicating with is simply accepting the truth. They're being open and honest, too. It could well be that unless, of course, you're connected to a fellow air sign, it could well be that he simply says, OK, so maybe we should look at getting legal advice. Maybe we should think about divorce. 
It's almost as if he knows it's coming. And he's been preparing himself for that eventuality. What would I do if my wife or my partner actually says, I think we should split? This is not necessarily a marriage. You could have been living together for many, many years, but you could have been renting a property or you might have owned a property together for a long period of time. But there's some kind of legal tie between the two of you. What you're fearing is that with the two of pentacles, either your partner's going to say, well, I don't think we can afford to divorce. Or it could be your fearing that your person will say, I don't think so. I need to think about this. I don't want to let you go. I want to patch up the relationship. I don't think we should part. You're nervous. What if they don't let me go? What you're hoping is with the energy of the high priestess that you could simply move towards a Pisces. It's a feminine energy shown in the card, but this can be masculine too. Or maybe you're hoping to keep a secret that what you're really wanting to do is to leave your person for someone else. I mean, it's one thing asking your person for a divorce or to separate. It's another thing admitting that you might have had an affair in the past and or you're in love with someone else. I think you're hoping to keep an attraction you have or love you have for this King of Cups to yourself. Secret. But you're hoping to get out of this connection you're in smoothly. The final card is you actually leaving. Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. This is you ready to turn your back on the past to embrace change. This is you looking out across the water and I'm hearing dreaming of a happier future. All right. So here we have clarification cards, six of swords. You may have been tempted to move very quietly towards someone for an affair. You may have been tempted to move towards a water sign or a Leo. Or you quietly want to leave the situation and to have the courage and confidence to do just that. I'm not happy here. I don't want to be here. I just want out of this connection is what I'm hearing. With the energy of temperance, Sagittarian energy... It could be that you want to leave a Sag. It could be you've got a Sag in your chart. But the energy of temperance in the upright is you coasting, waiting. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm just going to wait. Mm. I think you're realising you don't want to wait anymore. This is you very emotional. You know this is going to be difficult. But with the energy of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you do want to break free and be single even if it means that you're going to be struggling financially. So this is what you're doing. Overall energy. Gem, you're going to speak your truth, Queen of Swords. This is a little bit unemotional. But you're going to be putting your thoughts and feelings out there, speaking to your partner, coming through as the King of Swords. What you're going to say is going to be a shock maybe to them with a the tower, but you're bringing this connection down. I actually already feel, Gemini, that they have an inkling that this is what you're going to do. So it may not be as much of a shock to them as you believe it will be. With the energy of the Nine of Cups, you have given into temptation, overindulgence. But those connections or the connection that you entered into never went anywhere with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse because it simply couldn't. Couldn't go anywhere. Because you were still connected to your partner. And again, maybe you disconnected out of guilt in the past. Maybe your partner realised what might have been going on and they, you know, you pulled yourself back from the edge. Or it could be simply that the person that you were with was very disappointed that you wouldn't leave your partner and they disconnected from you. But this is what's happening, guys. Okay. Gemini, let's do this. I'm hearing it's about time. It's about time. Michael, what is the Five of Pentacles in reverse cross for the King of Cups? Yes. Gemini, you've been highly stressed about this. You've been highly stressed. Nine of Swords. You want to come out of sleepless nights. Stress, worry, fear, burden. 
you've made a decision that you want to do this because Gemini, I feel you're in love with somebody else and you're not happy in your relationship. What is on Gemini's mind? What is on Gemini's mind? The sun in the reverse. You could be missing a Leo. Or with the sun in reverse, you know that you're unhappy. You know you could be happy. And you may realise that you've just been holding yourself back from being happy. You've been keeping yourself in this connection out of fear of breaking free. And I don't think you want to do it anymore, Gemini. I, I just don't think you want to do it anymore. Yeah, the world. You could be thinking of someone who lives a distance. It could be that this is you wanting to move forward onto a new path. But the world isn't ending. You will have to end the situation that you're in to be free. As a matter of interest, Michael, what happened with the Three of Pentacles in the past? The Death card. You could have had a fling with a Scorpio. Or with the energy of the death card, you ended working on a situation because you weren't ready to finalise the connection with your partner. You didn't want to leave your partner. So you ended an affair because you weren't ready to make that serious judgment call about leaving your other half at that time. At that time. Yeah. Yes, it was painful. But with the two of swords... I think you realise the truth that you simply were not ready to let your other half go. And that was a decision you made. Yes, you took off the blindfold. You thought, I've got to accept my emotions. I do have love for this person in the past. You did have love for them, Gemini. You may still do. It could be the same person. But you weren't ready to leave your other half. Now, what is the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? The star. Okay. Now, for some of you, you may have been dreaming about having your Ten of Cups with someone else. Could have been an Aquarius gem, as I like you. Or you may have been living with an Aquarius, Gemini, and decided to patch up your marriage. Or you were dreaming of moving into the Ten of Cups with the person that you love. And healing the connection from the past with that person. It might have been painful when you had to end the affair for both of you. Okay, whatever that is for you, that's what's coming through. Seven of Pentacles, okay. So in the immediate past, you were looking at the past. You could have been thinking about the affair you had or... You were reviewing your finances and you made the decision to stay in your Ten of Cups energy with your partner and to try and heal things. I think for a time it worked, but not for long. I think all that feeling came back of not being very happy in your connection. Michael, what is the fool in the reverse? You don't want to take a leap of faith and a risk. I think in trying to get into another affair, or you may be feeling nervous about making a decision to end your connection. Mm. Three of Swords, you're sitting in heartbreak. You could be feeling heartbroken about an Aries that you didn't take a leap of faith with. You could be feeling heartbroken because you want to end a connection with an Aries. But there may be guilt involved. Somehow, or well, this is you heartbroken because you haven't made a move up until now. You've just sat feeling unhappy. So, you know, you may have caused your own unhappiness. OK, what is Gemini thinking about? The chariot. You could be thinking about moving, relocating. You could be thinking about ending things with a Cancerian or moving towards a Cancerian. In your heart of hearts, you don't want to do anything too risky. You're sitting in some heartbreaking energy, but you're so ready to move on, move forward. You're so sick of feeling stuck. That's the energy. 
I think you're ready. I think you're ready. Now, Michael, let's have a look at the energy of the King of Swords. I think this is your other half gem. Okay. Ooh, yes. Knight of Swords. So there will be very strong, straightforward, factual communication you're going to have with your other half. I don't feel any emotion here. They can simply say, OK, let's put this in the hands of the lawyers. It's very straightforward. They're going to tell you the truth. And it could be, yes, I agree. I think we should split up. OK, what are they going to say? Oh, Gemini, I'm sorry, guys, but we've got the Empress in the reverse. Now, this is a wife or a mother who doesn't put energy and effort into the partnership. She can be seen as codependent. She can be seen as being unfaithful. OK, so they may say, and this is your partner, Gemini, talking to my Gemini girls. It may be, Gemini, that your partner says, look, I know you haven't put effort into the marriage. I know that you've been attracted to somebody else. They may even say, I knew that you had an affair in the past. Let's be honest. I know you stepped out on me. So, yes, I think this is over. What else are they going to say? They're sad. Two of cups in reverse. But they also recognise that even though you two may have been in love when you met, very strong partnership, it's gone now. It's over. There, there is some sadness. They feel as if they're going to lose a soulmate when you go. But I think they realise that you are just going to go. You're just going to leave. What else is this person going to say? There we have it. They're agreeing. They're accepting it. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They feel there's no love, no passion left in the connection. They agree that... You two should end it. So it may be an easy transition out, as easy as it can be. Um, yeah. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to release you. You may not get as much money as you want. And it could be because they know quietly that you've had an affair and they may be difficult about how much money they give you in a settlement. But they will release you. In a strange way, this is somebody who has got their back slightly turned to you. They're looking at the future. They want a new start too. They may not be saying it, but they do. And they're going to release you. What else is this person thinking? What else is this person thinking? Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. I think they knew that in the past, Gemini, you had a fling with somebody else. I mean, it may have been lighthearted romantic texting or emailing to a full-blown affair, but they knew that you hid something in the past from them. So if you felt you'd hidden that successfully, an affair in the past, they know. Okay. The hermit. They also want to come out of feeling on their own. They've been feeling disconnected from you too. You could be moving away from a Virgo. Yes, I think they're just in agreement. I think it's sad, but I think they're in agreement. They're not going to fight you. They don't want to cause drama or arguments. I think they are simply, and I'm hearing quietly, going to agree. Okay, I'm hearing it's been a long time coming. Okay. How is my Gemini feeling at this point? How is my Gemini feeling at this point? Four of Wands in reverse. Now, Gemini, you're going to get what you want, so don't be tempted to lie because this is you saying, well, it's not as if I want to have a relationship with somebody else. Mm. The Divine is saying, Gemini, they're going to release you. Don't push it because I think actually you do want a relationship with somebody else. Now, if that is not the case, the Divine is asking you to be honest, okay, if that is not the case, then this is you saying to your person, you know, we're going to have to sell the property. You know that you're going to have to move out or I know that I'm going to have to move out because that's selling a property four walls or the ending of a relationship. 
So this is what you're getting down to. You're getting down to brass tacks, okay? Gemini, yeah, moon in reverse. Aquarian energy, moon in reverse. Cancerian energy. This is you seeing the truth, that this is really happening. This is also you releasing the fear in speaking your mind. And what you're saying is, I want to dissolve this partnership, whatever that means for you. You're deciding to do it. Your card of the lovers, Gemini. I think you're dreaming of a very strong connection that you feel with someone else. And I feel in a strange way that's giving you the strength to leave your person Dreaming of what might be with your person. There's a lot of fantasizing and dreaming here. Yeah, the hangman. Pisces again. You're breaking free because what you're realizing is that you are ready now to make this serious decision, to take that step. I'm hearing into the unknown. I'm ready to do it. You don't want to do anything too risky. But I think you know that unless you do it now, I'm hearing your person may meet someone else. Oh, that's why. It may be that this affair was a while ago and you're worried that your person may move on and get married to somebody else, be with somebody else. Okay, so you may have had an affair, Gemini, with somebody who was single. Okay, or I mean single as in never married or single, they were divorced. I think your person's still single that you had an affair with. And I think you're realising, unless I actually break free of my partnership now, I'm going to lose this person to somebody else. Because I don't think you've ever been able to forget them. So we have you breaking free and you realising with the world, OK, I want to end this. I want to end this. Yeah. The magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You're manifesting a new relationship. And you're manifesting a new relationship by ending the relationship you're in. <laughs> Guys, Tara is amazing. Ace of Cups. You're manifesting a new relationship, Gemini. What is the energy between these two people? Page of Wands in reverse. So if you guys used to send each other passionate messages, you know, uh, can't wait to see you at home tonight, you know, that type of thing. There are no passionate messages going backwards and forwards between the two of you. I also get the impression that both of you may have been quietly spying on the other, knowing that the relationship wasn't good. Is my person having an affair? If you two have a child, then you may be discussing how to break the news to your child. We don't want them to get upset and unbalanced. So, Michael, what is the three of wands? I think this is you, Gemini, moving forward. You're ending it. Yes, you're healing. Ten of swords in reverse. This is a very painful situation. You know you're going to have to heal. It may take a year for you to get fully healed. But at this point of time, and we're talking July, August are the main months for you, particularly July, you're going to be deciding to do this. You're going to actually make the decision to phone a lawyer, to talk about selling the property, for your person to move out or for you to move out. It's all going to actually start happening July time, I think, into August and then ongoing. I'm actually hearing September you may be reconnecting with your person from the past. OK, September. OK, yeah. So July, August, it may take three or four months for you to really get the ball rolling in terms of, say, a divorce or finding somewhere else to live. So with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you're healing, Gemini. You're healing. OK. Oh, and with the Six of Cups, you are definitely thinking about someone from your past that you feel a very deep connection to. 
Yes, you're going back to the past. Eight of Wands. Passion and messages. You could be traveling to see your person if you are at a distance from this person. I think this is the person that you had a fling with in the past. You're going back to see them, to talk to them. What is Gemini going to say? Eight of Swords. So Gemini, what you're going to say is, I'm sorry I took so long in making the decision to leave my partner. I was terrified of making a decision either way. I sat in my head for the longest time. You may say to this person, I knew my partner since childhood. You know, it was a very strong connection. I didn't really want to want to go. But you're going to be explaining this to your person. Yeah. So what else is Gemini going to be saying? Ten of Wands. That you were put under a lot of pressure. Maybe you're going to say to this person that you're reconnecting with, I couldn't make the decision, but it became heavier and heavier and heavier because I realised I still loved you. I couldn't forget about you and I just couldn't stay in this. I'm hearing false relationship any longer. So what else is Gemini going to be saying to their person? What else is Gemini going to be saying to their person? Ace of Wands. Gemini, you're moving towards someone that you are extremely attracted to. A lot of passion. You're going to say to your person, I want the passion of you start with you. I'm now free or I'm breaking free. I want to be with you. Bless you, Gemini. Justice. You're saying to this person, I want to bring balance to my life. I feel you bring balance to my life. Gemini, you could be moving towards a Libra. I mean, you could be saying to your person that after you get out of the legal side of this separation, if there is legal implication to this, I want a passionate new start with you. Or you could be talking to your person about a legal, a new legal contract. I mean, you could be saying, well, should we move in together? You know, I really want to get this going. Should we get engaged? Yeah, you're serious about this. You're serious. Five of Cups in reverse. You're trying to remain optimistic. I think it's been very difficult. There could have been sadness, guilt, remorse, regret in the past about this affair. But I think you're moving towards this person that you had an affair with now to say, I'm ready to balance the scales. I'm ready to get serious. I'm hoping that you're going to want to move forward with me. Seven of Wands in reverse. You're saying to this person, I'm sorry I was defensive. I'm sorry I pushed you away. I'm letting my guard down now. I want to talk to you and I want to say that I am now free, basically. Gemini, you're saying to this person, I'm free. My goodness. The devil in reverse. So Gemini, you may say to this person, I had to release a Capricorn. You may say to this person, look, I'm not sitting in ego. I'm not sitting in fear. It's not just sexual attraction I feel for you. I want to be with you, Justice. I want to move in with you, marry you. You're letting this person know you're not sat in any shadow energy, maybe anymore. Okay? Yeah. All right. What else is Gemini saying? What else is Gemini saying? What else is Gemini saying? Seven of Cups. You may say to your person that you were very confused about how you felt about them. You may say to this person, you know, after you, I did have other affairs. None of them really made me happy. And so I'm coming back to you.
what is the final card for this situation? How is Gemini's person going to react? How is Gemini's person going to react? Six of Wands. I think they're going to be pleased. They're going to feel victorious that you've made that decision. You could be moving forward with a Leo. I think this is going to work out. Let's just have one more card. What is going to happen between these two people? The Hierophant. You may marry this person. You may get married. There's a strong spiritual connection between the both of you. And I think they're going to almost feel... Thank goodness. I thought that Gemini would never leave their person, but they're leaving their person. And thank God for that. Let's get the show on the road. Taurus energy. Okay. My goodness, people. I am leaving it there. I hope that's helped. Sending love and light your way. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, guys.